Hey everybody, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios. Today, today's video is about how to fix this error when you go into PS4 Remote Play. As you know that you'll get this error, if you get this error, then you're pretty much two things. Either one, you are rooted, or two, if it shows the screen but doesn't show a black screen, then this means that you most likely have another app root access or you have a busy box as well installed. So in order to get rid of this app, this little error, we need to do this. First, you need to root your device and make sure you're rooted. It doesn't matter what kind of root, um, application you use, you have to root your device. And what you need is you need to get a busy box checker. Make sure you have root because it's gonna ask you for root privileges. Once you actually grant to access root, you need to launch the application and it's gonna give um, your, your root access application management can, um, application will give it um, access. Once it actually checks, it's gonna tell you, you busy box is available, yes, and it's gonna tell you the path, and it's gonna tell you if root is enabled, and it's gonna tell you the path, and then it's gonna give you the version of the application and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, and it can ask you as tell you what is BusyBox. So if you don't know what BusyBox is, a BusyBox is a a binary that Android can has more commands than what it usually has. Just like if you have if you if you use a CMD terminal on PC and you're trying to go through the system, basically Android can do the same thing, but without BusyBox you won't have you will be limited to how much commands you can and cannot do. So how do you re remove this? How do we re remove BusyBox? So what you need to do is go onto the Google Play Store and you need to search up BusyBox. I recommend you to just use Busy search up BusyBox and use BusyBox by Circle Vision, and it looks just like this. And it's by its name is made by Steven Circle Stur I I don't know how to pronounce the name. I, I do apologize. Accept and then download. It will download the application and install. It usually can be like be depending on what Android version you are in. But here's why this happens. A lot of people have may have generic devices like ZTE or any other device that comes by that was made using CyanogenMod. Mod. Like OnePlus OnePlus Three has BusyBox installed mostly because it is using CyanogenMod Mod or Lineage OS, one of those two. So this can cause a little bit of issues with PS4 Remote Play, especially if you install PS4 Remote Play on those devices, you're going to get this issue. So once you actually go get it, install it, you need to open it, and you will need to grant access to root for this. So what you need to do is going to ask you, okay, you have, you're gonna, it's going to ask you to uninstall, because as you can see, we have BusyBox installed. What you need to do is click uninstall. It's gonna give you, say, whoa, careful, and give you some personal information. But this is nothing that, that's not gonna affect your device. Just remember to read this before doing anything and uninstall. It's gonna remove BusyBox, and it's removing BusyBox, and then it says, looks like the removal was a bit too busy box of BusyBox was successful. Congratulations. Now you can actually go into see if BusyBox is installed. It'll say BusyBox installed, but all you need to do is restart your device and you'll be happily dandy. Once you actually install BusyBox, you need to remove root and you'll be able to use PS4 Remote Play as normal. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.